49ers going to have the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. Trey Lance leading his offense out for this next drive. And he's got to be wondering what happened in that first half. Three interceptions, very uncharacteristic. And even the great ones go through phases like this, like what we just saw. And most of them, they have such a mental capacity to throw it out and essentially start over. I think that's where he's headed now. He's got his opportunity to throw it out. Let's see how he does. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. They run over center with Mitchell. And he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I think it's pretty evident. We can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild. They did it pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. Meanwhile, Lance's throw taken in by Samuel. He's got room at the 30. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Boy, he ran free there after the catch as that winds up going for 38. They're still looking for their first touchdown of the game. And for a second, I thought they had it right there. Well, looking on the sideline, it's finally good to see nods of approval. as a welcome sign of life that this offense needed. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. And Lance now to throw. Got an open man. It's McLeod. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. And they run the option on second down. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Considering they've seen him have some big gains against him throughout this game, that's got to feel like a measure of revenge as they trap him behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. The Broncos going dime. Two extra defensive backs for third down. Playing pass all the way. To throw, it's Lance. Touchdown! Debo Samuel, his second touchdown on the season. And the 49ers are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. And this will come out to the 25 as Hamler elects not to return it. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead. It's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. On second down, they'll run with Gordon. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one, if people want to run the football, this is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. So it looks like somebody may have forgotten the snap count, and a five-yard penalty ensues. All start. All start. All start. Oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe trying to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to go catch a pass. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. 
And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Got a man complete. It's Hamler. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Might want to remember that third down play, 37 yards. It doesn't look like this defense found the magic elixir at halftime. This offense was rolling in the first half, and that's continued here in the third quarter. Another big play right there. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Operating from the gun. Johnson on the slant, completes to Sutton. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Now they'll have it first and goal following that gain of 17. That's another beautiful throw right there. It gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. And the offense is able to pounce on it inside the five-yard line. Now Johnson to throw on second down. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by the former first-rounder, Jimmy Ward. And the 49ers are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Uh, certainly not his best throw that time and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were in nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. They'll start with the option. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Here's Lance. And he's got the hook up to McLeod. Seven yards there at a first down. Lance going to throw. Escaping the pressure right. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. And Lance again going to keep it. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. That one will go for nine yards and a first down on the keeper. And that's another big-time run. And it sure looks like the leverage game is being won by the offensive line. They're the low man on just about every snap, and they're winning, pushing back the defensive front and creating great space for their runners. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Lance going to hold on to it. And he lost the football. It's picked up by the Broncos. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Problems there on the option and a costly turnover. Yeah, partner, you know how we watch practice sometimes and we see those drills where the quarterback's running with the football and they're swinging pads at him. And, and now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. And a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. It's a loss of four. Now third down. 
Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe it'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Lance looking to throw it. That's complete to the tight end runner. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 38-yard line. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. Trying the right side with Mitchell. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. On second down, here's Mitchell. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Final minute now of the third quarter. Once again, it's Mitchell. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. the chalk into the end zone it's a 49er touchdown Debo Samuel his first rushing touchdown of the year and the 49ers are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter so that Charles his second touchdown of the ball game he had the more standard receiving touchdown earlier this time he finds the end zone in the run game yeah it's almost as if he said well that's how I'd normally do it that's almost boring Give me another opportunity. This time I'll use my legs only and get into the end zone. They're going to try and run. And he will dive into the end zone, and the two-point conversion is successful. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. Take it in at the three. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now to Denver. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping to you on the other side of the ball. Said, hey, we picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? <laughs> so when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw it with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. It was Eric Armstead fighting his way through that time to record the sack. Six sacks for Eric Armstead last season, his seventh with the San Francisco 49ers. As others have stepped in to help him with the pass rush, he's been able to make his presence felt in other ways with a new career high in overall tackles. The Broncos on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and 14. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Open man Hamler, that's complete. And he'll only get this to about the 35. Well short of the line to gain. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that'll bring up fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on to punt for Denver.
So just a three-yard return following a punt of 45. And out will come the offense as they take over. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And you sense the tide turning. They scored, then their defense forced the punt, and now a chance to ultimately take the lead here late. Although a jet sweep to start the drive. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. They'll go option on second down, right side. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Really good effort. He does it himself, picks up 15, also picks up the first down. Well, that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game. You don't usually account for him, and he's hurting them today. Yeah, he's been very involved in the running game. Defensively, when you've got the coverage good downfield, how do you account for him, though? Occasionally, you start to spy him. Take someone that's the same agility, who can dance with him, run with him, and try and keep him in the pocket. Yeah, that'll be especially critical here as we come down the stretch in the fourth. That was the veteran Jamie Collins busting through to make the stop. Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. Now on second and 13, Lance throws the out route and completes it to Samuel. Throwing his Lance on third down. Flushed out right. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Excellent work there by Lance as he scrambles for the first down. Well, when you've got a quarterback like this dead to rights, you got to make sure to wrap up. Instead, though, he breaks free and off he goes. Yeah, and at the risk of sounding just a little bit trite, this is just a tackle that needs to be made. It's one thing when you've got a bruising 230-pound running back coming your way, but when it's a quarterback who's running for his life, your teammates will tell you, you've got to get him on the ground. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. And the next-gen stat shows us the tale of how much yardage he was able to pick up after the initial contact. On second down, here's Lance. That's over the middle and caught by Ayuk. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Lance going to try and throw on third down here. Screen play setting it up for Mitchell. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Well contained there defensively. The screen gets only a yard. And it's fourth. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. The kick by Gold is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, you talk about clutch. That one was right down Broadway, and this game's all even here in the fourth. Yeah, he didn't leave any doubt, did he? Good snap, good hold, dead center. Almost like a big-time golfer in a major, firing at a pin from the fairway, trying to win the tournament going down the stretch. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos are about set to go on offense. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. And not much to speak of. Call it a one yard gain up to the 26. Johnson now looking to throw on second down. This will be caught, Judy. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Looking to throw on second down, Johnson. 
Open man. He completes it to Judy. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 43. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Broncos first down. They should put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Here's Johnson on first and 10. Throw to the right here to Gordon. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now they run from the gun with Gordon. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. If they get nothing else here on third down, it'd be a 53-yard attempt from this spot. Back to throw. Johnson. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And the Niners are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. Well, we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally. And that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes. And that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. Give him 10 yards on the keeper, and it'll lead to a second down. Up the middle, here's Mitchell. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Now we'll pause here for an injury. And it's Debo Samuel. He's the man in question right now who will need some attention. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. On first down, they go back to Mitchell. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. And now they'll throw with Lance. Over the middle, that's caught by McLeod. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 41-yard line. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They've got it first and 10 as they search for a go-ahead score. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. A give here to Mitchell. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as it'll come with an even 90 seconds remaining on the clock. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. From the gun, a give to Mitchell. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third down, here's Mitchell. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring out fourth down to kick this field goal, don't you? No question about it. Look at the clock. Look at the situation. Kick the field goal. 
The kick by Gold is good, and the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there, gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that, because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. So the Broncos now down on the scoreboard. And time, a huge factor. But they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He's got Gordon. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Back to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. He'll look to throw. Able to find Judy. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. This for all the marbles. And this is incomplete. So no miracles here on the final play. And this ball game is over. What a game we were treated to in this one. And on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though. So for San Francisco, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll return home next week to take on the L.A. Rams. Meanwhile, for Denver, they'll fall to 1-2, and, and they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road.